For occupation, I put federal agent or spy. Uh, for industry, clandestine services. And for employer, FBI, DEA, CIA, NSA, DHS, Interpol, MI6. There's a, there's a lot of job market out there. I like it. Because I'm a cop, Seth. Because I'm a cop, I'm admitting it, dog. Because I'm a cop. Blow your mind, dog. I'm a cop. You're under arrest. Get the fuck on the floor, because I'm a cop. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. You're a homie? I'm a cop. Yeah, I'm a fucking homie. I'm a cop. Get the fuck down. Get in handcuffed, because I'm taking you to jail. Or you can answer a one question. What's your one question, Seth? Because I'm a cop. Who's winning? I'm because I tap out. That's what happens when they play dice. Middle of the night, woken up by the Popo. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna check that out. This is my pipe. Oh, cool. You can smell it, girl. Smell it through the curtain. I don't this is, no, this is what I smoke. This is what the original Scooby Snacks smelt like. It's Jimson oh, mimicking me. And you know what? The reason it can't identify the cannabis in it, and it's only sold as potpourri because that's what it is. But it's a Jimson wacky wacky. So much you hallucinate. You probably smoke weed out No, of but that smell though. that. You're not gonna tell it's not good. Go ahead. Take a whiff of it. Yeah. Oops, <laughs> and you ble and believe it or not, it has natural mint. Whoa! Instead of fucking like those stupid spice-looking clusters of what looks like fucking par multi multi okay Easter parsley or something. Yeah. You know, multi. Go ahead and take it with it. Let her take it with. We're we're good no, actually. No, I just know. We're I, good actually. I just want, no, she doesn't want to smell it. Oh, it's she doesn't good. want to smell anything it's from real, one of your pipes. Real, no, it's real nice. We sweet. thank you for your gift. No, no, I'm not gonna give it okay. to you. I just wanted to well, smell it. We're good. It, you won't be able to tell the difference. Okay, sweetie, yeah, sweetie, sweetie, we're trying to get some rest okay, now. One more Can you please go away? We're trying to get some sleep now. Okay, I just want thank to you. Out to you. I appreciate you that. Night, okay? You too. Thank you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I have no doubt. All right, peace out. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Seth. 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 The guy. Really? Yeah, come on, man. Thanks. Wait, wait a minute, hold up. Wait a minute, you got the key to that one? Let me see. We got the other one. There should be two keys on there. You've never given us a key to the house. Yeah. We've never yes, had a key to the house. She never got a key to the house. I don't know how clear I can make that. We almost got one like twice. You were going to give her one to go make a copy. You never did. That The other guy with hair. You never gave her a key. I guarantee you, you never gave her a key because we've had to knock on the door every time we've come in since she started here. She never once came in with a key. She's never once had a key. She never had a key. You never gave her a key. Why do you think you gave her a key? When? She came in before many times by herself. She's never come in by herself. Before you even got here. No. We always have to, she always has to knock and wait. She's never come in this house by herself, Monte. You're, I, it's never happened. Cause we knock, she knocks every time, and if no one answers, she has you know to go. You're right. You're yeah. absolutely right. I know. You're absolutely right. <laughs> All right. I got right. Oh, the, the, the room key. Yeah, the room key. Never the house key. Yeah. 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 Okay. I thought I got a room key. 
No, never got one. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. No, no yeah. bad, bro. No problem. Okay. You know, you know we're good on this side. Yeah, no problem. I mean, really? How many lashes? How many more lashes will you inflict on me, Lord? How many more lashes to my back? How many more lashes? How many more lashes will you inflict on me, Lord? How many more lashes on my back? Officer, I know. <laughs> yes, officer. <laughs> wow. Really? Do you really see a badge? Did you see yes, it? pretty much. Where? Where is my badge? <laughs> you tell me. What are you doing out here? What do I know you for? Oh, no, says what? What? What was that? I use, I use cell phone real fast, make a call. Anarx is what? It's an 858 number. Anarx is what? Oh, fuck. Uh, ain't no Narc. I don't believe it. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude. I'll call my homegirl to fuck. I don't care. Oh, okay. Really? Narc. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. Actor. You got it. You got it all twisted, dude. <laughs> do, do I? Yeah, dude, yeah. Really? Yeah, really. I'm fucking, I'm stuck without a fucking cell phone, dude. I have numbers, but that's it, dude. So, that, yeah. All you, dude. I'm not. What's your name? Frank. Frank? Yep. Where do you live? Earth. Come on, you're more intelligent than that. Oh, I'm much more intelligent than you are, sweetheart. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave me alone now. And so it goes why, away now. Why are you like pointing that thing at me? Pointing what thing at you? I'm just, I'm just holding it. Uh, yeah, you do know, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Can you go away now, please, officer? Officer? Did I stutter? No, but I'm not an officer. Alrighty then. Can you go away now, officer? I'll go away because I'm a woman and I. That's awesome. Know, as long as you're going away, it's awesome. Whatever else you have to say, it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay. Uh, you're blushing, by the way. What's that? I said you're blushing. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I've been drinking, bro, so... Well, you weren't blushing until I called you a narc, which is interesting. Oh, fuck. Dude, you're tripping, dude. Am I? Yes, people do have to take responsibility for their actions. That we agree on, officer. I'm not an officer. Now say it again like you mean it. I'm not an officer. One more time and just, like, try to convince me. You, man. Not in a million years, sweetheart. I would let you touch me. That's great. Can you go away now, please? Are you sorry? What's that, officer? I'm not an officer, so I'm a paralegal. Oh, is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I'm a mother. Oh. I'm a grandmother. Awesome. That's what I am. Good for you. I'm not an officer. People think I am, and, and... People think you're a cop, really? You get this a lot, do you? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. wow. That's awesome. It cracks me up. Yeah, I bet it does. That'd be nice, officer. Officer. Too much oh, dude, wait. What's that? Too, Too much jealousy, but his camera is facing at us. <laughs> that was part of Occupy. Yeah, I bet you were. I believe you. It was mostly cops. I said it was mostly cops, so I believe you. Oh, you've been arrested, have you? Huh? You've been arrested, have you? Yeah. And that, that proves you're not a cop, does it? No. Say it again, but be convincing. Huh? Say it again, but be convincing. The I'm not a cop part. You gotta say it convincingly. I'm not a cop. 
Stop. One more time. I'm not a fucking officer of the law. Still don't believe it. Try it again. Whatever it is. So what made you want to go into law enforcement? Why are you recording me? Why are you harassing me? Anything green helps. What's that? Anything green helps. And so that? Uh huh. It'll give you dollars in weed. Wow. Yeah. Evan. I just taught you to fish. It's cool. He's got a phone on my fucking wife. That's a better phone than mine. Can I do it for you, officer? I saw you somewhere. Yeah, she did, officer. Did I see you at the vineyard? You down there? I thought I saw you all the way down there. I went, and I went and I ate down there. Are we done yet? I went and ate down there. I don't want to play anymore. I just can't be sure because you're new. Yeah. You're new to that place. Like, yeah. It could have been somebody else. You're a bad actor, officer. Please go the fuck away. I'm not a cop. No, you're not a cop. Why would you be a cop? No, that's just silly talk. Can you go away now? I'm about to give you 50 cents. Oh, I'll live. Well, fuck you too. Yeah, alright then. Well, you're not worried about jaywalking tickets? Yeah. Almost like you got a friend on the force, huh? You got no idea who you're talking about. I actually do. Zero. Uh huh. I'm 50 years old. You got no fucking idea. Alrighty then. You got no fucking idea. Are we done? We have the problem. I said, I'll give you your fucking money back. Go find a fucking place. I'm you come place. in and said, and can't let's stay. I'll find the place. I'll give your money back. By law, you yeah. can't do that. Yeah. See? Yeah. This is why I said I didn't want this talk. These people don't want to have a fucking talk. There is no talk. Yeah, I know. They just eat up all my food and all that shit. And tell Nobody's eating me, your fucking nothing's food. Nothing's a problem. Yeah, See, a you, lot Ron. of our food disappeared. Name it. Make a list. Okay. I'll go to the fucking no, grocery wait. store. See, you say one fucking thing, I'll knock you the fuck out. One fuck thing off, about Johnny. Don't even Come fucking on talk to me, dude. stupid. I'm already at my wits end with you. Why? Hold on. Give me one reason. Give me one reason. Don't even clean your dishes. No, I like to be like the stupid. Just give me a reason why I'm a problem for you. You gotta stop talking. No, I just want to know what his reason is. You know that stupid. No, dude, you want to act violent and shit? I'll get the cops in here. I'm fucking sick of this shit. Tell me what I've done. I'd like to know so I can correct my behavior. No, no Grabbing problem. my shit, taking you my wheelchair away, talking to us, or you're touching my shit. Who grabbed my monitor without fucking permission? She said you said it was okay. How many fucking you think stuff? You Who's spitting in my that fucking stuff? Pair of pots and pans? Who spit on my curtains? Who's spitting on the fucking deck in there? Who pisses all over the house? Who takes two and fucking himself. hours? And everything. Mm-hmm. You piss all over your patio and you spit and well, piss about my spit? I piss off the side of my deck. Yeah. Yeah. No, you I don't. don't piss on the deck. You pee all over yourself. It's windy as fuck out there, dumbass. Hey. Yeah, right. Fuck. I'm not going to do this, sir. I want to help you guys out. I wanted to not have this talk. Don't talk to me about nothing. Uh, That's what I was doing. You just got two weeks and then you guys got to go. That's what the plan was. Let's go back to the plan. See? Dude, I've been dealing with these fucking crackhead assholes and a tweaker bitch! Whoa! I have him hitting me, pushing me on tape. Great! Great! Um, So Vicky got her money today. So we went shopping for clothes and food. Got back to the gangster house. And uh, head gangster Monte. Pyru, nigga, Pyru. Uh, he got my face doing that, basically. Told me I had to move out tonight. Even though we had agreed I'd paid to be move out on the 5th. It's the 28th of the previous month. It's like, you think Victoria can stay, but you gotta go. I'm like, what? You're gonna go, man! He's in my face in the hallway. He's like, Pyru, nigga, Pyru! Like, I don't know what that means. I wish I'd had a camera on because there was a gangster, like, up in my face and I just stood there. Whatever, dude. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I wish I had it on tape. It was pretty glorious.
So yeah, anyway, I'm uh, back in the streets. Yay. probably want to go somewhere else, okay? You can record me all you want. It's a misdemeanor to be camping here. I'm within my legal rights to ticket you, okay? I'm telling you to move on, otherwise I'm going to ticket you, okay? For your own safety, though, this is not a good area. Okay. Okay? Y'all good? What's that? Y'all good? Yeah. Just camping out? With the ID, do you? How long you plan on staying here? Oh, are you from Oregon or are you from California? Uh, a little both. Alright, well, so are you passing through? Uh, I haven't really made a decision yet. How long have you been in Lancaster? Uh, about two months. Two months. Let's continue passing through. Is that me? Okay, thanks. Nice one. Yeah. So that's about 45 minutes after the last cop bothered me. It's going to be a long night. What exactly do you think the chances are of that happening randomly? Cannabis is medicine! Let the law stand! Cannabis is medicine! Let the law stand! And I, I'm, I'm really proud of all of you for coming out here. But everyone here, everyone here needs to get 10 people to come to the next one because they're not going to listen. And this is the lawsuit that could shut us down. We have to make sure it doesn't shut us down. And the only way we're going to do that is Show them that we mean business. Impeach the supervisor! Who do they work for? If you can't represent us, we can replace you in every district. Voters count! Voters count! Voters count! Voters count! Voters count! And voters are watching! We know who you are. You can't hide behind this anymore. Do not take our medicine. You're not doing that service when, when you stand in, in, in opposition to us and in the righteousness and the mercies that we represent. These people are a better reflection of Christ than anybody in this room up here. My name is Seth Aronson. I'm from Los Angeles. I used to live in San Diego. I went to San Diego State. Um, I worked a graveyard shift last night and I have to work one tonight. And instead of sleeping, I came down here because I heard that there's five people in this room who declare, are in the process of declaring war on me. We've had this freedom for nine years. And if you take this away, if you try and take this away from the medical marijuana patients who, who are being kept alive by this, if you make me have to go back out into the street to get my medicine, you don't want to open up that can of, as the kids say, whoop ass. You don't want to declare war on us. If we have to start having protests in front of your individual houses, if we have to take the protests to you, this will get as ugly as you decide it has to get. It's going to get as ugly as it has to get before you decide to do the right thing. We're not asking you to do the wrong thing. We're asking you to actually do the right thing. And I see the way that... Uh, it's well known throughout the state that Mr. Bill Horn is the leader of this. He's on point, as they say. And this will not stand. This, you will not take our freedom away. And the smirking, the, the power that you have to do this to people, to take people who are, have cancer and have gone to the doctors and the doctors give them pills and those pills have side effects and they need other pills to counteract the side effects or they take medical cannabis and they get to eat. I've seen it save lives. It saved my life. And if you want to take my medicine away, if you want to take away 100,000 people in the state of California's medicine away, you better be prepared for this fight because this is not going to be just a slam dunk. You can slip it in through the courts. If you declare war on us, it's your declaration.
as well as you like. Do you play? Yeah, a couple songs. Ah. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Hey, what they got a personal barrel you can change somewhere? <laughs> Didn't I see y'all earlier? Yeah. Over there on uh way, way back there by uh Avenue L. Yeah. Y'all just making it? Yeah. We had some other errands to do. Oh, okay. I'm How sorry I didn't let you know about them. Oh, you trying to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> you too. So help me understand, Kim. Because I don't Kim. I thought a guy called you Kim. I'll just call you Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde, right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Can't figure out why you told me to turn my headphones down that day at the library. See, your answer was interesting because you said it was because it we'd was had problems like this before. Because it was really loud. No, 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 no. It, it wasn't loud at all. That's the thing. And you were about to put on your own headphones, so you weren't going to be able to hear anything. I was still able to hear it, and I don't want to. But you didn't know that because it wasn't loud yet. It hadn't made any noise, Kim. I'm not Kim, first of all, and second of all, I'm not going to have this conversation because this was at least a month ago. Well, I know, you but I, I found it... With what I said, you should have said it earlier. I know, because I do see you guys at the library every day, don't I? No, not every day, actually. Just about. Sometimes you get a day off, huh? Yeah, here, there. There they are following me again. Everywhere I go. These two.
most part, you just follow me around, right? Why would we be following you around? Why don't you tell me? I just did. We have no reason to follow you around. You, have you don't have any reason to tell somebody whose headphones aren't loud to turn them down right before you put your own headphones on either. If your headphones were not loud, then I would not have heard the music coming from you. The ah, there we go, Kim. We I'm not Kim. I know, but it sure bothers you, doesn't it? Bonnie? See, the thing is, I wasn't listening to music. It wasn't well, plugged I'm in. I'm sorry if I had the wrong type of sound coming out of your headphones wrong. I'm apologizing for that. There was nothing not coming out of my headphones. They were on my ears, but they weren't on at the time. You told me to turn them down just to start something with me. So I'm trying to understand why you would do that, Bonnie. And why you and Clyde have been following me around so much. We don't follow people around. Not, not people. That type of Really? Yes, really. Oh, we're following you around. We got the bus first. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good one. Good one. I just don't understand why you tell someone to turn headphones down that weren't making any noise. No, oh, I was in the past all over. It just seems weird to me, doesn't it? Wouldn't you think it was weird if you kept seeing somebody everywhere you went, and then they'd do something like that, tell you to turn down headphones that weren't even on? Small town. People are crazy because it's a small town? Uh, I was in, oh, it was crazy. Well, kind of, it's kind of a crazy thing to do, isn't it? It's like this guy in the yellow has been following me around when you guys uh, aren't. Hey, right, buddy? Wanna talk about Romney some more? I'm not following you around, buddy, okay? I'm riding the bus because the bus system screwed up and it's none of your business. I'm not interested Let's in Let's talk about Romney some more. I already have. I talked to my friends about it. I know. I heard right. you yesterday all the way home. Great. All you have to do is say, would you please be quiet? I'm trying to keep my sanity, and then I'll shut up, okay? Would you please turn around, knock? I'm trying to keep my sanity. All right, great. I don't need to hear from no, you. No, I've got two knocks I'm talking about no here. I just, I was just making a comment about you, sir. Protect and serve, brother. Yeah. Hey, you guys, be quiet. See, it doesn't make sense, because you guys aren't making any noise. See how weird it is? I think it's weird. Sure is, isn't it? Six years being followed around by Homeland Security. Constant harassment. But they don't like it when someone asks them questions. Do they? I don't mind questions. You don't mind questions? What made you want to go into law enforcement? I didn't go into law enforcement. You got drafted? No, neither of us are in law enforcement or traffic. Or what? Or trafficking. I don't even know where you got that. Trafficking? <laughs> You're just offering stuff up there, aren't you? No, you mentioned Lady protesteth a bit much? Whatever. All right. I'm sure I'll see you all around. I'm leaving soon, though. I am going to miss you guys. Unless you're going to follow me to Portland, too. Will I see you guys there? Yeah. No. Oh, I know how it works. I will have a whole new crew following me around in Portland. Guys, be quiet now. See, it doesn't make sense. You're not talking. No noise coming from you. Officer? I'm not a, I'm not a cop. I don't believe you. I know you have a great day now, sir. Two hours later, at the library... next day, and every day until I left Fort Townsend. What's going on, officer? Don't take my picture, man, okay? okay. We'll turn the camera away from me. Okay. You're the officer, man. Yeah. Fucking... I'm sorry, were you talking to me? Yeah. I was just saying, how's it going? Good, how you doing? I'm doing great. Right, are you? No, I'm just saying, what up, dude? Just to me? Oh, yeah. Just be cool, man. <laughs> yeah. Just looking for Christmas really bad. What's that? Looking for Christmas really bad. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. getting most tried out. <laughs> so you just say hi to me then? What? You just say hi to me then? Oh, yeah. Nobody battled. Well, take it easy, bro. Oh, you too, officer? Yeah. Thanks, Johnny. Hello. Wow, high tech in here, huh? Very high tech. Name? Seth Aronson. Seth Aronson? Seth, what am I interviewing you for?
for today? Uh, is it from the thing that we put on our paperwork, or yeah. just make uh, FBI agent? FBI agent. You ready? I am ready. Good afternoon, Seth. I see you're here applying for an FBI agent. Would you tell me about yourself? Uh, well, let's see. I've been an activist uh, for about 15 years, a cannabis activist for the last eight. Um, the FBI has fired me or had me fired from my last five jobs. And I can only take that to mean that it's a passive-aggressive thing where they want me to come work for them. So I believe I'm a perfect fit to come work for the FBI. Okay. Strengths? Um, let's see. I'm intelligent. Unfortunately, maybe too intelligent. Um, I know they have a ceiling where if the IQ is too high, you're not allowed to work for them, which is probably what will preclude me from being hired. Okay. So unfortunately, I probably won't be able to be able to work for the FBI, even though it's been a lifelong dream. <laughs> Why should I hire you? Well, because I think I'd be a, a great agent. I know so many of the undercover agents. Um, I've been kind of immersed in the system for the past eight years, and uh, you guys won't let me do anything else. So okay. come hire me. <laughs> Any questions for me? Uh, nope. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Your water. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Next. Next. Dear cops, I just wanted you to know that when I picked Mama Said Knock You Out, at karaoke, I didn't know that those lyrics down near the end there were all like bombing and shit. Did not know that. That was literally, they didn't have the first four songs I wanted. Like, oh, I think I could do that. I could do that rap. It's LL Cool J. And I didn't even, I honestly didn't know. So don't be creeped out. I just thought it's embarrassing for everyone. So all the narcs tense up when the, when the uh, bombing lines came on. Oh, I rapped through it, though. <laughs> I'm a trooper. It's enjoying my ninth year being tortured. Have a nice day. What's that? Did you just call me, Mr. Allison, on the phone? Yeah, you disappeared for 15 minutes. You said no, you were going to get a piece of paper. Not disappear, okay? If you only knew how hard I work, but if you want to change me, that's fine. Well, you I, I, no, I, you said you were going to get a piece of paper 15 not minutes ago. Not a piece of paper, sir, okay? Okay. Not a piece of paper. And I don't have to give you any excuse here, okay? Because I know what kind of job you want. But if you want, I can change you if you like. I can change. I can have you change to another worker, okay? Well, if you think that'll be There's good. a reason I changed to you for my other worker? You know what? If you'd like to, you can I'm not. Me look, down. you made me wait for 25 I minutes. Made you wait. And then you made me wait for 15. Made you wait? Yeah. I'm going to get you my supervisor so he can tell you what I was doing, okay? That'd be great. Okay? Since you were unable to explain it. Clearly. His wife died, and he's an artist, and he's talking really loudly, and this girl is incredibly interested. And it's all happening like six inches behind my head, and they're talking twice as loud as anyone would. See, I'm talking normal, and they can't hear me, but... This is so cool. Where? Where? I have someone talking home. Oh, okay. No, this is hard. Um, if, 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 I got a phone number. My name is Eric, E-R-I-C. So you sell paint? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, you do? Okay. Well, that's what I was thinking. Because I want to, like, she buy She was fascinated by his bead yeah. art. Oh, and I also need to get the, like... In my ear. She's standing right there. there. Excuse me, see, last night, I set that up, fool. I set that up, dog. Didn't you know she was a That cop? chick was a cop, dude. So I got her to fucking spy on you, dude. Like... So I'm curious about something, though. You... Took a bad drug test, right? Took and a couple of them. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to the second one. My question's about the first bag one first. So you took a drug test, and you, you turned out dirty. That's none of your business. You're not no, my father. Well, so I can... I don't have to tell you anything. Well, I'm still paying the rent here, so if you want to be here tonight... Yeah, and I'm paying the rent next week. Well, we haven't gotten there yet. Well, I can get you up on bank and move somewhere else if I want to, because I'm not dealing with this shit no more. To leave. Okay, by tomorrow we will. Okay. You can get the fuck out. Mm -hmm. Because I don't see how you're paying for this shit. I don't have to live here. Okay, then. Come on, <laughs> please. 
Okay, but he can leave now. Or he can answer my questions. Those are his choices. Which you would you like to do? Dead, I don't, don't give a fuck. You can right answer right. my fucking questions or you can fucking go. Who are you getting loud with, dog? You, dog. So would you like to answer my questions or would you like to go? I just want you to answer some questions, Kevin. Who's a cop caller? Who's a cop caller? I do. You want me to? You, you want, want to talk about who's a cop caller, Vicky? I'll answer your questions. Mm. No, no, Seth. You want, you want me to answer your questions, now? dog? Yeah. I'll, I'll answer your questions. Oh, sit down, please. Come on, dog. What's right. up, homeboy? All right, dude. What's up, homeboy? Okay, so you took a bad drug test. You, you tested positive for pot, but you knew that you found out that very day, right? Because I knew it's not that no, I found she out. Told you that no, she, she didn't tell it. me. No, no, she didn't tell me. It's when I took my first drug test. Mm -hmm. See, I lie to you, Seth. I know you do. You lie because to me I don't all like you. the time. Yeah, because uh, I think you're weird. Okay. Go okay. on. So I'm being honest. Uh -huh. Okay, no, I took my first bad drug test, mm -hmm. right, that I knew I failed. And that was for my program, not for my probation officer. It was for my program. But your first one was for your probation officer. The second one was for your program. It happened no, no, the next no, no, day. no, 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 no. It was for the program. I never pissed for my PO. Oh, really? Really? Okay. okay. I always pissed for my probation. So, I mean, I, for my program. I'm just going by what you told me. So now okay, you're telling yeah, me yeah. the truth. Yeah, okay. exactly. Good. This is good. Play I want truth. Yeah, you well, want I, truth. I pay for your food, bitch. So yeah. maybe yeah. stop yeah. calling me daddy. You're not a bitch, dog. I'm you. in your face. I'm not a bitch, Seth. You're the bitch. Really? I'm, I'm the one who pays for your food and your weed. That's not being a bitch, dog. It's called me struggling, dog. Because I go through a lot. I have a lot of fucking problems, Seth. Wow, struggling. Because I thought you had a thirty dollar an hour job that you stopped going because to. Because I have a lot of problems. Because the little petition thing pisses me off. Because I have to live with you. I have to deal with you twenty four seven, being in my face, dog. Mm, I have to deal with you twenty four seven, being in her yeah. life. This is you know what pisses me off please the most. Tell, please tell me. Kevin. That's what pisses me off the most, dude. That you're a weirdo. That you like do really sick things to Victoria. What what have I done sick to Victoria? Did you try to have sex with her? I tried to have sex with her, didn't yes. I? Yes. No, like, you showed her, her your dick, her. you know what I mean? I tried to show her my dick. Oh, yeah. Yes. My really? My dick was laying out that one day, and I cried in the living room in our old apartment. Yes. What? Who See, it's things like that. And don't, doesn't know it. Really? It's things like that because I like come from a different life lifestyle, Seth. Okay. No, no, we're getting back to you, no, Kevin. No, but okay. we're staying on you for a minute because you've been on me for a minute. Okay, no, bring it. Okay. You're, you're a subject changer. Go on. You're, We're back on me. Right. Yeah, I'm a subject changer. Tired of you. Okay, no, like, you I mean, you just you're right. You, you know what? I may not be the best person in the world. No, we're going to get to right? where you are in a minute. I may not be lazy. Mm -hmm. You know, I may be lazy and shit. I may not work, you know, a whole you lot and get a whole lot of fucking money and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I understand that. Yeah, you take care of But I'm really, I'm really going through it right now. What is it? What is it, it that you're going through, Kevin? Tell me. What is it that I'm going through? Yeah. Having to deal with people like you. Having to deal with my father, having to deal with not really having anybody in life, having to deal with being alone for a long time, and then I found somebody. I found Victoria when she was feeling alone too. Okay, Victoria has SSI and shit, but then she also has you, mm -hmm. right? You do shit like this. You cause big eruptions where people have to be crazy with cell phones. No, this is good. I like a two camera shot. Look at how you good. motherfuckers are acting, dude. You guys have like. This has limited time on it, so we're going to get back to it. I know good, you're trying to waste yeah. the time. No, I'm not trying to waste the time. No, See, I, that's where your like crazy it. ass mind is tripping the fuck out at, mm. Seth. Well, I, I can't figure out, I still can't figure out how you got a broken jaw without a single bruise showing that you had been punched. You don't even think my jaw got no, broke? Because you had the exact. <laughs> bro, this fool doesn't even. Shh, you might want to be quiet, Kevin, because remember you're on the run. Hey, turn around, let's talk about it. Do you swear to yeah, God, you, you don't know why? My jaw got broke? Because you had the exact same. Because uh, I get. Audio of you speaking with a broken jaw. Be quiet, you're too <laughs> okay, can I? You, you want to know why, Kevin? <laughs> Victoria, are you serious? Yeah. This guy yeah, really thinks that well, the jaw you? is not broke. Well, you had no. You couldn't show me where you got punched, Kevin. How do you deal with this? Yeah. I'm tired. I feel you, babe. Don't trip. No clue. I understand. So nah, this paranoia. Felt bad for me, and I knew it because it even said in the diary that she stuck with Seth, and I know what that's got to do to her. I know, nope, babe. I know. Listen, trust me. I understand, babe. Yeah. Don't trip. I love you. I mean, there's nothing I can do, but I mean, I'm just, like, I'm really trying to show the truth here, man. So let's get back to the truth, this Kevin. This fool is saying that my jaw was not just broken. Keep, well, let's get, let's get back. Well, because you were speaking. You talked like you didn't have a broken jaw, and you didn't have any bruises where you supposedly got punched. And, so wait, wait, wait. So wait, Seth, wait. Shut the fuck Seth, up. Seth, no, don't tell me to shut the fuck up. Where did these scars come from, doctor? Well, you had where surgery, from? Kevin. For what? What did I have surgery well, for, Seth? I assume since you had the exact same surgery. What did I? Can I tell you? I, yeah, tell you me. You had the exact same surgery that Zach had. 
What was that? The exact same broken jaw, but able to talk and no bruises. But I didn't have a broken jaw, dude. That's you what just I'm saying. Said that. That's what I'm saying. Kevin. So my shit wasn't broke right here. Well, it wasn't broke. It wasn't. Wait, I didn't you're saying it was broke up in the front? It was broke right here, dude. Well, you didn't have any bruising right at all. Here. No, there's no. It bruising. was broken in two parts. It was broken. Okay, yes. good. No, I, no, this, we're not. Okay, no, this is good because I get the audio of you talking. Do you remember how yeah, swollen my jaw was? No, but I get audio of you do talking, you which you can't do when you have. Do that. you think it was the police who took me to the jailhouse and put these on my fucking face and fucking put the? You think the police did that? Well, Kevin, you're an undercover cop, and this little thing here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let, let's get back to it. <laughs> hey, dog, I saw my badge like every day. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know her last boyfriend. Dropped his cover and tried to arrest me, right? Oh, no, that's, that's, that's the story you told yeah. me. <laughs> okay. Let, let's get back that's to the story you told me. Yeah, can we, we talk when that fool was like, "Get on the ground, get the fuck on the ground," when the cops pulled up because you guys were no, like, right before they did. They came around the corner right after he said that. It was like him saying that triggered them to come around the corner because eight of them came around the corner right after he said that. Okay. So, let's get back to your drug tests, though, Kevin, because I'm fascinated by these and drug Kevin tests. Said that after he, I know Ashley said that after he saw the lights, and that's when he said it. Seth doesn't see the lights yet, so he's accusing that it's because of... Do we have any it. cigarettes right now? No, no let's, 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 let's get to this. Because do you see this shit? Yeah, well, no, I, I really want to talk about you your drug tests, shit? Kevin. Because you you're scared. I understand you're scared. Can you no, tell me why you call the cops it. homies? I'm not scared, dude. I like really want to like smash this fool. In why the do you face. call cops homies? I'm not. I'm not gonna do it because I know what's gonna happen. But Kevin, dude, do you know how bad I'm shaking right now? I know you're shaking, no, Kevin, because you're caught. Too. Hey, Kevin. I'm, ca- I'm on candid camera. Kevin, Kevin. nigga, what's up? Whoop whoop. Can you're you, lost. So you, you've avoided every <laughs> question, mate. So it's like you're scared to answer. Because your shit is tired, Seth. That I just want to smash well, your face. Well, too fucking bad. Dog. You're gonna answer some fucking questions, Kevin, or you're gonna leave. So the question, uh, the next question is... I just leave, babe. The, are you, you want to come with me? You afraid to answer the questions, Kevin? Because I want to know why you call the cops homies. This guy right now? Kevin, why do you call the cops homies? Because they're the homies, dog. No, you call your friends homies. No, the cops are the homies. You introduced... I'm videotaping how this place looks so that when I go right now, too, that, um... You can remember it? destroyed or stolen. So, Kevin... Why... You haven't answered the question about the drug tests, because I'm fascinated how one of them you got the re- results right away, and the next one you didn't tell anyone about for two weeks. Can you answer that question, Kevin? Because I'm a cop, Seth. Because I'm a cop, I'm admitting it, dog, because I'm a cop. Blow your mind, dog. I'm a cop, you're under arrest. Get the fuck on the floor, because I'm a cop. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. You're a homie? I'm a cop. Yeah, I'm a fucking homie. I'm a cop. Get the fuck down. Get in handcuffs because I'm taking you to jail. Or you can answer I'm a one cop. question. What's your one question, Seth? Because I'm a cop. Well, can you shut the fuck up long enough to answer it, Kevin? I'm a cop, Seth. Did you know that? Yeah, well, I do. You know I'm a cop, Seth? Yeah, Kevin. I'm a cop. Yeah. You want to see my badge? Yeah, please. Yeah, they get the fuck on the floor, dog. They're coming in right now, homeboy. They're coming in right now. Get on the floor. They're coming in right... Abracadabra, dog. Come get him. Come get him right now. Come on. Come on. Step forward, bro. Hit the door. Hit the door. So you're not going to answer any questions? Oh, here they come, bro. Oh, 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 oh. No, que- no questions at all, huh? Can we go, dog? I just want you to answer a question, Kevin. Why can't you tell me about your drug test and why you got the results from one of them right away and the next one you didn't get for 14 days? Because I hate probation. Because probation in the system can suck a no, dick. No, it doesn't make sense why you didn't tell Victoria that you had gone to a second drug test drunk. Because you knew what that meant. I ain't never been on probation. I don't know what I'm doing, doc. You I'm don't addict. know that you got drug tested? Dope, and I drank and I fucking smoked weed. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't understand the system. So, you know, I don't smoke dope anymore, but I used to back when I got in trouble. No, but I don't understand how so, you didn't know you pissed in a, te- in, a, in a cup and were tested when you were drunk. Bam, dog. Come on. Oh, you're a bitch, niggas. Answer yeah. the question, Let's Kevin. Go, man. I need to fuck this guy. Don't touch my stuff. I love you, Vicky. Have a good life. Fucking shit. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, that fucking little bitch said that to me. No, are you fucking serious? Get the hell out of here, dude. Yeah, fucking serious, man. You're a fucking lame ass fucking bitch. Don't walk up and talk to me like you're fucking somebody. Uh, okay, how about you go home and take your meds? Fuck you, retard. No. Oh, I'm the retard, but you're the one who needs you're meds for your mental health. You started this. Oh, hey, wait. Stop being over there. So what happened? He doesn't want you coming over there. Because I guess that one time that you were yelling and. Running around with the car. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think I do remember that. Because I remember too thinking, God, watch, you're going to make problems for me where I go and kick it. And, and you did. But at least you didn't make problems for me. But you made problems for yourself, so you can't go there now. <laughs> I told you, personally. I remember telling you you are going to do this. I remember this. Vicky, so I was like, hey, Vicky, I don't blame you. you've too. made, just calm down, okay? I don't want to go there. Okay? I don't want to go to the fucking orgy house of fucking video game playing where you want me to deliver you your food and expect me to fucking just show up and car right, carry yeah, all my shit. And you so you fucking get off my fucking nuts about something that I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay. Fuck, man. Oh, I'm tired of the same shit. Barely know people and you fucking throw me under the bus when they fucking say boo. Mm. <laughs> Every time, dude. Thanks. Oh, thanks. I don't like being a record, broken record player, so I'm not going to say what I like to say over and over. What, that you made a phone call to Josh and now we're fighting when we were just fine before? Okay, you make every, you make, you, I think everyone in my life and uh, that I meet as a friend is a cop, so you create problems so what the fuck do I say what am I supposed to do dude honestly I I am to respect my friends you make problems so honestly, what problems did I make there was nothing whatever. under your house I was just at the house when was there a problem I was in there making guacamole yesterday Are you acting right now? no but I was making guacamole what oh, happened since yesterday okay. Victoria I gotta go, so. yeah because nothing happened that you remember that nothing I'm never really happened oh my god dude whatever Joy fucking your hypnosis, dude. You too. Any more imaginary stuff I did, be sure to let me know. Whatever, dude. What's up? You got your camera on, bro. Yeah. Alright, you can be facing and towards my people. You got people? Yeah, right there. Hi, Dan. What? Hi, Dan. Alright, but that video recorder, stop that. I don't have a fucking Mr. Mayor, there are so many better candidates. Mr. Mayor. No better candidates. Mr. Mayor, could you give a flower to Mr. Manis for me, please? No, sorry. please? Sorry. No. But it's it's for Mr. Manis. It's just a flower. Much better candidates. It's good for you. It heals people. So I wanted to apologize to you, man. Huh? I wanted to apologize to you. Oh, for what? For lying to you. For what? Oh, I said I'd kick your ass if you ever offered to do that shit again. Oh, what do you mean? You remember. Well, I remember when you said that. Yeah. Funny. Well, I didn't do it. And I want to apologize for lying about that. But I just decided that I'd just appeal to your conscience instead. Okay. I mean, you know, she's trying to get her kid back. Yeah. So you probably shouldn't be putting weed in her backpack. And you shouldn't oh, be offering her shit. I got you on the weed, dude. I didn't... But what about the second the thing? The shit, well, no, that, that's cool. I understand that. We fucked around with it that last time, and that was it. And yeah. I'm not going to give it So you wouldn't, you wouldn't... Her. But look, we had a little talk, and I even told her, like, you know, I'm not going to let you do that, whatever. Oh, but good, yeah, she's good. Cool on that. I'm not going to let her do that. Don't trip, dude. Good. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not like that kind of type of person. If I know she's trying to get her kids back to you, that's, you know, that's... That's what she needs to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? It'd be nice if we're all on that same page. No, I, I'm on that page, dude. Cool. Feel me? Yeah, so. I'm not. I'm not against that, dude. I'm not trying to get her off. Good. Of I'm sorry. I made it a, a physical thing. I decided violence isn't the answer, yeah. but, and um, uh, just try to. I didn't get her high the other day. No, I didn't. I know you didn't okay. get to, yeah. but you did try. No, I so didn't don't try. try. I so didn't, just, I didn't try. Yeah, I just be nice I, if you no, did. No, I really didn't try though either. Oh, good. I mean, I gave her the weed, but I just wasn't yeah. thinking about it. Yeah. Well, you didn't give her the weed. You just put it in her backpack and then told her later. I, I watched her, you do I it. Told, look, I put it in there, yeah. and then I said, oh, I should probably tell her because you don't... Because she's trying to get her kid back and she didn't have that there. I didn't understand the weed part, but I got yeah. you. Okay, yeah. good. You know, good. I, I, dope is obvious. But, oh, yeah. You know, the weed thing, I kind of just didn't okay. make sense. But as long as you're on the same page, brother. No, I am. I really am. Anyway, she's. Uh, I think she's around the front or she's inside, so... No, I know that. But, uh, dude, yeah, I'm not trying to, to fuck with her like that, dude. I cool. I have nothing against her like that, and I don't have to have her on drugs. I can tell her a couple times when you don't do shit. Yeah. At the same point where where you were bringing it up and where, getting it in her hand, at the same then point where I was, the thing, I was doing it, you know, with her though. Yeah. I was also telling her, you know, you shouldn't really be doing that, you know. Yeah, that I mean, makes it doesn't yeah. quite make sense, but yeah. To ask her to hook some up and then offer her some and then tell her she shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, yeah. that doesn't make sense. Well, 
that was after the fact that I had told her, you know, you really shouldn't be doing that and she made the choice to do it anyway. Yeah. But, um, You guys are loitering in a high narcotics trafficking area. This particular area right here, we have lots of narcotic sales and prostitution. Okay. You are being contacted due to the high crime activity in this area. Okay. Does that make sense to you? It does. Okay, does that make sense to you, man? One quick question, though. Is, Absolutely. Is walking across the parking lot now loitering? You, you, were not loitering. you were not walking through. I caught you walking right here in front when you were standing up by the side there. When you saw me, you walked away. That's why I was contacting you. Okay. Okay. All right. You have a great day now. Thank you. Odd in the end there. Okay, this poem is called Cops. Grew up too frightened to be enlightened, dreaming of a job with a gun. Some wanted to kill, some wanted to protect. They all wanted a pension check. Now they're slaves to the law and the order. Yes, that's an order. Literally forbidden from supporting the cause. Sworn to the Constitution, instead they protect capitalism, zombie corporations, and their wealthy wizards of Oz. From petty peasants who dare to still care about the American dream, protesting the notion we're all cogs in a machine. You can understand that, can't you? You don't have to be so mean. You're working class too. We're on the same team. Truth and justice get lost in the fog when you lie awake. Convincing yourself you're just doing your job. That was it? Thank you. Thank you, Seth. One more time for Seth. Thank you, sir. All right. It made sense to me. I think so. I'm curious. Did you practice the arm swing in training? That character you got to be holding there. The way you get that arm swing like you're the street guy. Is that part of That's not your own. That's not your own. Is that part of the training? Did, did they suggest that, or do you just do you suggest it? Just curious, whoever's training you. <laughs> curious. Do they pick out the outfit for you, or do you, did you think this is what your character would wear? I'm curious. I just want to know how it works. I figure at this point, I'm curious the behind the scenes. Do you pick out the hat? Do they give you the hat? That type of thing. I guess you can't tell me now. Yeah. 
Earth and our part of the Earth? This is this hemisphere? No, like what, what part of North America? Depends. California or Partly. Midwest? Nah, not the Midwest. You can do a lot of shit. Sure. Yeah. Learn a lot of hard lessons, huh? I can always spot the people who have the two uh, the two double lives going. Yeah. Very receptive. I am. Thank you for noticing. What? Or security? In my security? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it open? Doesn't look open. Can you, can you get it open? Why would I get it open? Well, I'm not. Uh, do you work here? No. Are you responsible for this? No. Are you? No. Do you know who uh, Vicente Fernandez is? No. For real? For real. So you don't know me? I don't know you. Are you serious? Uh-huh. Have you ever heard of TMZ? Nope. TMZ? All the celebrities? Nope. Have you heard of uh, Kanye West? Nope. Kim Kardashian? Nope. Never heard of him. Uh, what, what kind of music are you into? What's that? What kind of music are you into? Uh, Mozart, mostly. Okay. Uh, Some yeah. Beethoven. His earlier stuff. Really? You like his later stuff? Of course. Ah. So you two his uh his beginning. You with mode. this guy? Yeah, yeah, she knows. Okay. Yeah, she's one of my groupies. Okay. Of course, you know? Yeah. So no, groupies. I'm just saying. What's happening here? I'm just saying, I'm uh I was just wondering if you could get this this thing open. I, I thought you worked here. You thought I, I worked thought here. I thought you were guarding, you know. I am not. The security guards usually let you into closed eating establishments after they're closed? It depends. Really? That it, happens it, sometimes? Of course. Oh, if, yeah. If I ask... If you ask a security guard, they're going to just let you, you in. You do not know me. That's... You do not know, uh, know who I am. Do you know who I am? Do you know... It's going to be done soon? Are we almost done? Um... What time is it? Time for you to go wherever you were going, I Sir, think. Sir, I'm trying to make you famous. No, you're not. Have you ever heard of uh Please don't touch me. Sir, I'm I'm trying to make you fit. But me touch you, you will become a fucking billion. Okay. I promise. Well now we're done. And okay. you can move along. Okay. So when you, when you see the real half of uh, Atlanta and you don't see yourself, then you know why. Right? Uh-huh. You know what? I don't like your fucking head. I don't. If I had if I had my mind in my class, I'm not doing what I would like to do. So you, you should move on then. If you don't like me and I'm standing here and you stop to bother me, you should just keep going, right? But you, but you know what? You should sure appreciate the fact that I'm trying to make you famous. I do, but I think I'm that, trying to I make, think our trying to get some change in your pocket. I think don't our, you want your your pocket fat? Minutes, our so, 15 minutes are done. Don't so you want your pack in your pocket fat? It's been 15 minutes yet. Sir, have you ever heard of Telemundo? I have not heard of Telemundo. Oh, sir, is that on the moon? Don't get me out. Sir, I am the co-founder of Telemundo. Okay. Sir, all right. All right, okay, I'm sorry. Have a good night. What was your name? Frank. Frank, I'm sorry, Frank. I'm sorry we, we were not able to come to an agreement, but I was going to get you the next... Damn it, I could have had that. Telemundo, Exactly. I could have had a telemundo or whatever you, you could have had a tele It's called telenovela. Oh, I could have had a telenovela. Just about yeah. me and you... Frank. Me Free. waiting for your boss, Free. and you're standing here bothering me. All these guys are going. All right, all right. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you for your time. Okay. I hope you get. You do your thing, man. Word up, brother. Be, be uh, whatever this shit is. I think. What's the test? Be a security guy. I think. I think. I could have done my thing. You have a Bugatti. Ah, whatever you just said, brother. I'm not quite sure what it is. Sold everything, motherfucker. What's that? You I'm sorry. I, was, I, I got rid of everything just now, bro. Everything I got rid of. You understand? I don't bro. understand. What are you talking about? Remember I came up to you said before and I said I have some really... You know what I'm saying? And you said, oh, nobody's gonna... You, you look like a detective or DA or whatever bullshit you said. Uh -huh. Which was fucking bullshit. I just got rid of it in 30 minutes. Blah. Whoa, dude, really? Yeah, I'm not kidding you. I'm going home. I, 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 I don't think you're kidding me, dude. I'm not kidding you. You're not kidding me? I kid you not. You kid me not. I 
kid you not. All right, like then. Thank, thank you, you from, for coming. Hey, listen, listen to me. You what? look like one of those motherfuckers from Columbine High School, motherfucker. Uh, what? Are you from Denver? No, I'm not from Denver. Are you from Denver? I'm still not from Denver. Did you think looking around would make me from Denver? No, me looking around, uh, cause uh, you look, a, you look like a spooky motherfucker. That's why I'm just. I look. Also, you have a nice phone there, bro. I'm just that phone right there. That banana peel is yours. I, I hope you're not fucking littering, you little prick. No, you wouldn't. You better pick you wouldn't that banana peel and shove it up your ass, or something. All right then, knock. All right, what? I said all right then, sir. Knock. What? You, you calling me a narc? Don't ever fucking. Don't you ever knock. call me a narc, dude? Fucking thing ever. In your head. With that thing in your head. Hey, you want to hear a Brooklyn accent? It's right here. Yeah. Hey, it's fucking right over here. You know what I'm saying, my nigga? Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you're Vinny. Hey, you're Vinny. Get over here, bro. You see this really nice guy over here? Now, you like some lasagna or some linguine with a mozzarella cheese? Uh, what would you I like? just what like to like be like left alone because uh, you've been harassing me for would, a while now. Would you like to just suck a big dick? I'd like, like you that? to go away. Yeah, go fuck yourself. You're your fuck. All right. Put your, fucking, put your carpet around your Are we almost done? Not almost, no, we got about a few more minutes. To oh, go. good. <laughs> Round three. Listen, what the fuck? What, what are you acting like Tom Cruise? Why are you bothering me? I'm not bothering you, pal. I think that's up to me to decide whether or not it's... the street? I have a right to... Speak. Middle of the street? Come to your Do you street? not know what a sidewalk is? Yeah, and I have a right to be here. So go finish no, walking. I'm not bothering you. I have a right to be here. This is my How can you too. determine whether or not I'm being backyard, bothered by you? If I came to your backyard, then that's bothering you. This is a public place. Don't sit here. Don't sit here, you little fucking. I'm prick. thinking of. I'm, I'm you're thinking you're fucking mumbling, stuttering little fuck. You eh? watch a lot of TV and a lot of movies. Eh? You watch a lot of How movies. How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me, huh? Uh-huh. Tell me. Tell me what's funny. We almost done. No, we're not almost fucking done, oh, you fucking Lord. trick. Eh, what do you got over there? Candy, you little fucking fruity bastard, you? Can uh- <laughs> <laughs> you get a starring role? I want to get a star role. Yeah. Are you director, producer, I'm director? guessing you're an actor. I am an actor, pal. Yes, yes you sure are. How the fuck would you like to write a script together, pal? I would not like that. You would not? Well, who the fuck needs you then, bro? All right, then. What is that booklet over there? Still not done? Still not done? Are we almost done, dude? Because I was busy. You were busy, yeah? yeah. <laughs> what were you busy doing? I was writing, dude. What? Well, what are you Before writing? you harass me the second time, I'm I was right. I'm not harassing writing. you, pal. This is a public place. Nobody's harassing you. How do you not understand that it's up to me to decide whether or not I'm feeling harassed by you? Yeah, but I'm not harassing you. But it, it, from my you're perspective, you are. Because I'm standing here and you're sitting You're not the standing there. You're wa- you came back to tell me you're not a cop, dude. I right there. You I'm came all the way back to tell me you're not a cop. Uh, first of all, I didn't come back here to tell you I'm not a cop. I didn't even speak of that. You didn't? Oh, no, I didn't. Did I, I hallucinate that? I got that? rid of all that shit. Oh, that's right. You're... That I couldn't fucking do. I didn't say and that. That pissed me off, you fucking I never said that. little fucking prick. I discouraged your weed dealing? You didn't discourage... Listen, you just said that. I'm not a dealer, bro, you fuck. What are you talking about? You, and just... you didn't discourage me, you little fuck, but you tried to. And don't you ever fucking do that again. Are you almost done, dude? And scene! Yes, I am. All right, then. All righty, then. You can leave now, dude. I don't believe that, man. No, but you can leave. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is actually a great actor. He sure. Okay, tell me one question I'm going to ask you, and you give me an answer, and then I'll leave, okay? I promise. Okay? Who's your favorite actor? You. No, honestly. Don't I'm don't saying it, don't dude. Bullshit. No, I ain't bullshitting you. You were the greatest actor of all time. I think you're the greatest actor of all time. Uh huh. Well. Especially with that fucking. You know, that fucking thing in your head. What uh-huh. the fuck is that, bro? Uh, what is that? <laughs> what is so that? So you DEA or FBI? I'm not a DEA. I'm not FBI. I'm just a loyal civil citizen. I wish I could read faces quick enough to know which of those was the one that's... Never mind. Civil citizen. That's what I am. Civil nice, citizen? Loyal civil citizen. Okay. That's right, baby. That's, that's an right. odd... Is that your car right there, bro? Is that that is my car. That's right there, my yeah. nigga. Oh, I'm gonna sing you a song. Watch no. this. I thought no, you said that was the last thing. I'm gonna sing you a song and then I leave. Okay? okay. You have to listen to me. And Do I? And you have to Do clap. I? Uh-huh. You have to clap at the end. Okay. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends drive a Porsches. Uh-huh. I'm the only one left. So you're so singing Lord, the song from my. You're singing the song from my film. And you're supposed to oh make Lord, me. Oh won't Lord! Won't you buy me a Mercedes? Wow! I just gotta cut the footage of me singing it. 
And then get the fuck out of the neighborhood, son. All right, officer. Listen, is that your banana peel? Yes, right officer. It's my banana Please peel. You put a banana peel are you going screen. away soon? You no, paid by the hour or are you salary? No, no. Listen, I'll give you a bonus right now. You know what that bonus is? Huh? That bonus is this. Uh. <laughs> All right. That is yeah. What do you have that fit, bro? Listen, this is no. Just go away, dude. dude please. Fuck you, bro. This is a public. <laughs> This is a public right. place. Then I'll go away. Alright, just sit, All right, sit, 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 Fucking sit, A, dude. Sit down, I'm leaving. Really? Yes, I am. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too, brother. See, I do have a big heart because I left. Thank you, officer. After eight years, it's great when they finally walk away. Listen, you fucked. I'm not an officer, okay? Oh, my God. Still? Fuck you. Okay. Okay? Uh, you've made the point. You want to piss me off? No, I really don't. Huh? Do you want to fucking piss me off? Oh, Jesus. Don't, hey, don't, listen. Don't tell me you get word in front of me. Which word? O or Jesus? Yes. You understand? O is not a word, you fucking dumb fuck. It is if there's an H at the end of it. Now please, for the fourth fucking time. If you mention, if you say one more word, you will go to the bathroom. I will lock you up in the bathroom. I like your boots, man. Oh, well, thank you. How much did you buy it for? About, about $15, $16? The Air Force bought them for me. Oh, the Air Force Bottom, dude? Yeah. Yeah, I was working in an Air Force base. They bought me some boots four years ago. Oh, shit. And I'm wearing them now, and they're all beat up. So why are you talking about them? They look good. I like them. Do they look good? Yeah, they really do. I really? like them. All right. Why would you. I mention them? Though? I don't know. And I really like your hat. Oh, good. Oh. Listen, you were in the Air Force? No, I was not in the years? Air Force. How many years? None. About two months. How the fuck did you get their boots? Because I was working in their kitchen. You're working in the kitchen. <laughs> You're doing the Do you repeat toast everything and salads. I'm <laughs> 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 you toast the salad, oh, bro. Oh, dude. <laughs> Please go away. <laughs> no, listen, listen, bro. You were in the kitchen with the with with all those you know hunky soldiers, bro. Yeah. So did you get did you get tempted to toast the salad? For oh them? my god. <laughs> with tomatoes and dressing. Bye. Narc. Listen, you fuck, I'm not annoyed. I Relax. Know. Why would you even say that, bro? I don't know. See, I'm just thinking, why would I say that? Because I know that's going to make you come back and talk to me more. Why would I say what? it when so it makes you come you back and talk to me? You were leaving. I'm trying to go home. And I call you a narc, and now it's another four minutes of this shit. I'm trying to go home and go to sleep, pal, and you just keep messing with me. I don't, that's I don't that's appreciate. what's happening here. I don't fucking appreciate it, Good night. Good morning. All it's right. morning already because of you. Really? Good night. Good night. It was 15, 16 minutes ago. And scene. And cut. Oh, Jesus, really? <laughs> uh, listen, wait a minute, wait a minute. We did a sheen, right? But now I gotta get paid. Yeah, but please go, go away. I gotta get paid. Yeah. Or you gotta give me a platter, food platter, or a yeah, salmon platter. It's down that way. Just walk down to the end of that sidewalk. It's over there. Yeah, right? it's over there. With all the people? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're listening to. Uh, oh, dear Lord. What are you doing? <laughs> listen, pal, pal. Are we cool? We good? We're cool, brother. I'll see you later. All right. Thank you. Don't tell me with an attitude like this, because I don't appreciate it, damn it. Peace. Thank you. Peace. Good night. Oh, my God. Take it to your girlfriend or to your boyfriend's house. Oh Jesus, no. Oh, he... oh Jesus, no. Now I get it to the tribute. Now I get it to the tribute. Did you get the tribute me? I did not take a picture of you. Yes, you did. You pointed the I thought about it and I realized you were too far away well, and I couldn't I don't see give anything. A fuck if you thought about it, because I'm going to actually fucking do it. All right then. Hey, well, you can show, you can show middle finger. We'll I, I can. You let me. Wow, dude. Let me know when you were done, because I'm tired of scratching my face with my middle finger. You get paid extra for that. And one more. Oh, I do one to the side. Check it, make sure it's good. Look at that. That's you. All right, good. You There's like that? That's the keeper, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I saw it. I'm going to remember you, you yes, fucking... Yes, you sure will. You've been doing this all night to me, you fucking stutter. <laughs> what are you 
talking to about, you? dude? Go what away! I, what am I, a fucking mirage? <laughs> I'm asking you for a fucking drink, have I not? Wow, dude. Huh? Where the fuck is my drink, huh? Where's my drink, you fuck? Where's my drink? Where's my martini? Please, go away, dude! Yeah, but why would you do this to me, bro? You see what you're doing? Are you fucking kidding me, that's dude? That's another two hours go of torture. Go away! So that's two hours of torture right No, now. dude. Yeah, but you pointed the phone at me, bro. Oh, jeez. Why the fuck would you do that, huh? You fucking prick. Say sorry right now, I'm sir. I'm sorry right now, sir. Thank you very much. Have a good night. You too. Thank you very much. Uh, any what? Anything on you that you should have, sir? No, I have medical cannabis and I have a doctor's note. And then we're in, then we have no problem, sir. What's going on with that? Look, I didn't go anywhere near anyone's car. No. Just been sitting here. Yes. I promise we're not going to do anything to you. Okay. We're, we're gonna send your phone down with that right there on the on that. Alright, do you have anything on here? I'm gonna put your phone. It's still recording. In the wallet. Actually I put this back here in this pocket. You have nothing in your none of your bags, right? Nothing. Everything belongs to you. Yes. What's that? Can I'd like to watch you as you go through my staff if you don't mind? I know that it's uncomfortable in here, so we've got our last question right here. Oh. Okay. okay. I know that the drug companies are a big part of the problem. I mean, they spend, there's an incredible amount of money spent on that. If there was, say, a plant that you could grow in your backyard, <laughs> say, everything from glaucoma to, to insomnia to, to help cancer patients, would you support that plant? <laughs> Nose. I can my, smell it, man. Yeah, here's my note. I don't want to see your note. Excuse me? Can we get your room number? Why? It's What's your room number, sir? Why? Because your keys are going to get pulled for drug drug possession. Uh, it's not drug possession. I have a medical oh, note for you. Have a California medical card? Oh, yes. Okay. It doesn't matter when you stay inside this building. I don't see how that's any of your business. <laughs> It is our business because no drugs are allowed inside the building. Okay, well that's my medicine plant. What's your room number, sir? 279C. But you already knew that, didn't you? 279 Charlie, drug possession, marijuana. You got anything else you want to let me know about? Nope. think you've gone through it all pretty well, haven't you, Chief? Can I have my notebook back soon? Say again? I said, can I have my notebook back soon? I wouldn't speak to you. Well, I was wondering when I'm getting my notebook back. 279 Charlie, drug possession. I don't know what notebook you're talking about. The one you took out of my backpack last time I came through here. I, I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Do you have a piece or anything in here? Dude. It's my medicine, man. It's none of your business. Hey, you can't confiscate that. I can, because you're bringing it into this building. Let's see, where does it say? Where does it say? I'll show you right, right now. Number one. Number one. 
Well, now we have a problem because I have a legal right to have that. Alcoholic beverages, illegal or prescription drug not prescribed to you, or legal drug paraphernalia are not allowed in the building and are subject to confiscation. Can, this doesn't count as any of those things you just listed. Yes, it does. Which one? Yes, it does. Illegal drug. It's not an illegal drug. It is illegal. It is not illegal. Is I have illegal. a doctor's note. I'm not going to argue. You are going to argue. Gonna argue with me, clearly. The the legality of the sub of the substance that you just keep. brought into. Sit down. What? Go have a seat. This is my stuff. Go have you, a seat. You can't take Go my stuff. Go have a seat. You can't I'm take still my stuff. searching your stuff. You don't Go have, have a right seat. to search. I do, I, Go have a seat. If I'm not going in the building, I don't give you consent to continue Go searching. Go have a seat. If I'm not going Go back in the building, you can't continue to search. Go have a seat, please. Do you, do you understand that I'm Go no longer seat, consenting please. to this search? Do you understand Go have a seat, that? Please. I will if you admit that I am no longer consent to a search. Are okay. we clear about that? You already stepped up. I'm already searching you. If you were to leave now, you're walking out on a search. And your keys are going to get pulled and you're going to get kicked out of the building. Well, you that's happening this? anyway, isn't it? You know what? <laughs> no. Because right now, you are just you just have the possession. Right now, with your attitude, though, mm -hmm. that's what's going to get you kicked out. Mm -hmm. All right? I only confiscated this stuff. Your keys are going to get So how do I get it back? You're not. You're not going to get it back. It's, it's my medicine. Into, it's going to go into an evidence locker, and it's probably an going to get tossed. evidence locker. It's going to get tossed. Well, then there's going to be a lawsuit involved. You have to give it back. You go ahead and try, man. Right <laughs> what right do you think you have to take it? You go ahead and try it. Because huh? it is not allowed in this building. I'm not going to repeat myself. Go have a seat, sir. Go have a seat, please. With my stuff, I will go have a seat. I no longer consent to you searching my stuff. Look, man, I'm not, I'm not walking I'm not, away from my I'm stuff because you've already taken things out. LAPD, I don't care. Right? You've don't already taken things out of my bag. Don't try to pull I'm that not shit walking on me. away from this you bag. You walk into this building, I can search anything That's I great. want to. All right. That's good for you. So now we go through the process of me getting my medicine back. Out of here with that shit. Well, who the fuck do you, you who do you think you are that you can you can take my medicine? Two seventy nine C right here. You already know that. What program is he in? Huh? Self, your program? I prefer to watch him as he's doing this. I don't trust him to not take anything out of there. You got a piece? A piece of what? Uh, you, know, uh, you have a piece. All right. What? Do you have a pipe? Do you have a pipe? No, I don't have a pipe. What you do is next time when they become into the grips, you let them take everything out of their own bag. Yeah, that would be nice considering he's already taken something out of my bag and not returned it. All right. Go have a seat, sir. Doctor, please. Right, I'm gonna drop this shit off. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, you do realize that um, after they found that, they are gonna confiscate it, and you will no longer be able to rent here. Okay. Alrighty. All right. So go ahead. Uh, Go to your room, just drop them off in the morning, okay? Hey, forgot to wand me again. No, I don't. You know what, no one wants to wand me? Mm-hmm. You, you, they've done it already. No, he never wanted me. You stepped outside. What's up? No, he never wanted me. He just searched my bag. Don't worry about it. You sure? Yeah. Aren't you worried that I have a piece? <laughs> What's that? Garlic, yeah. What's that? Back massager. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like back scratcher or something? Yeah. Who died? My fiance. What she died. What what Cancer. Thanks. Breast. Thanks. Breast. You've never seen one in real life, is that what you said? <laughs> the electronic gadgets are bullshit. You gotta use the real thing to get it really tuned. Wait, what does it do? I mean It's a tune the key, the the top string of the guitar and then you can tune everything else. Yeah. Sixty dollars? Where'd you get it at? Uh, doctor over on, over by El Pollo Loco, up there. Does it expire? What's that? Does it expire? Probably at the end of the year, I think. 
I heard there's one on Barton and Western that's cheaper. Oh, there's always one cheaper. What's your, if I may ask, what's your medical issue? Uh, scoliosis. It's what that's for, too. That's ginseng. American ginseng from Chinatown. How long ago did you come out here from Riverside? Oh, I left Riverside a long time ago. That's where I grew up. How many? Uh, years ago. Oh. I mean, I lived in San Diego since then. And but you haven't changed awesome. your your license since then? Yeah, I've moved around a lot, so I just kept that as my, it's my parents' address. Oh. In other words, if my body ever turns up, that's the address that that's the door to knock on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, going into one of the cars, so we do have a confirmed DFMB, um, but I don't know what the boat it is. There might be a remote or something. <laughs> Only three more to go. I know. You got to travel lighter. Yeah. Oh, I just, I just remembered there, there's maybe a scissors in that bottom one, in the very front pocket of it. I don't know if it's here or if I left it at my daughter's house. Uh, 23. That was 23? Uh-huh. 78. No, you were born in 72? I didn't. She's my goddaughter. Wow, you never saw the hidden pocket in the hat. Nothing in there, but... I wondered if anyone would ever catch it. Oh, okay. Nice. Now he's examining my pillow. They've already called and said that they have video of the suspect, so you could look. I'm obviously not him, and they should let me go, but instead, he's now feeling up my pillow. Well, you're nothing if not thorough, officer. Don't you all need, all you have to do now though is they have video of the suspect and you just have to look at that, see it's not me, and then. Well, I got a question, you know, what if it is you? Well, I know it isn't, so since it can't be, unhook it from the uh, from the back, yeah, yeah. Well, let's just. Uh, let's just you look like me now. <laughs> Do they beam that to your car? Do you get to watch that on the computer in there? How long have you been with the force? Uh, a year and a half. Oh, really? Rookie. Still training a rookie over here, huh? She's not a rookie, man. She's sharper than most people. Yeah, no, I didn't say she wasn't smart. Still new at it, though. Not an old, how long you been out there? Oh, okay. It's a long time. All in LA? Huh. Do you have any kind of tattoos on your chest or anything like that? No, sir. Told you about the one tattoo. What's that? Do you have any of the lottery tickets? No. no I, I got to cash them in for the second chance. Agent Frank London, Federal Bureau of Investigations. Okay. Um, we're calling to let you know that we believe Mr. Uh, Seth Aronson is going to be driving up there again to try to get you to admit that you are cooperating with us. Okay. Um, so we, we want to remind you that you can't say anything to him. I ain't well aware of the laws. So, so you, I mean, he's going to try to trick you and get you to say that you, you cooperated with us in the investigation. I'm well aware of the laws. Well, we're, we're worried that you may be, that he may be smart enough that to, he'll get you to say something that, that you're, that, that will incriminate you. I know the laws, thank you. Well, what, what do you mean by that you know the laws, ma'am? I need, I need to know specifically that you're, you're aware of what's going on here. I'm aware of the laws. That's that's all I need to say. Is that what they told you to say? I'm aware of the laws. So that's what they told you to say.
to say if I called? I'm not going to say anymore on the phone. Um, well, we'll have to come in and speak to you directly then, I guess? Give it a shot. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. You want to tell me what happened? I'll tell you what happened what? Excuse mm -hmm. me, though. Yeah, what just happened? With what? What's going on here? Okay, yeah, I do. I'll let you know, but excuse me while I close my screen door. And I'll grab you what you need so you guys can mosey on out. But, uh, yeah, I'll let you know what happened, bro. Yeah, I'd like to hear it. You know what? Yeah, no, I don't need this game. Close right now. But let's, let's, let's elaborate and let you, let you on what was Please. going on, bro. She? Uh-huh. I have no problem with normally. I asked him last night because he and her had this thing to ask her to take a shower because my mom complained of a smell. Worse than yours? Well, it doesn't matter what my I'm mom just, is. I'm just kind of surprised. Well, no, I know. I'm just considering how bad you smell. It's kind of funny. It doesn't matter what okay, I smell. Okay, so she asked her to take a shower. What happened? My mom don't want to smell pussy. Okay. All right? She has a but, pussy. And yet she smells you. It doesn't fucking matter, bro. <laughs> just right. like she had to smell you. Yeah. All right. All right. But go on with your story. Don't smell very well. Go on with your story. You smell me. I'm sorry. You can smell it over to you, bro. It's very sad. But in any case, continuing. Uh -huh. Yeah. She's sitting on the couch. She's lounging, sleeping. And she's very um, sanitary and unclean. We're asking her to take a shower. We're offering her linen. We're offering her uh, toiletries. And, you know, obviously she's tired. But hey. He woke up in the middle of sleeping to ask her to take a shower. Be, no, she wasn't sleeping. But it was before she fell asleep. She decided to go to sleep when we asked her. Okay? Uh -huh. Now, he tried to wake her up a multitude of times. He didn't have he's, he's got it. Okay? Didn't happen, bro. Uh -huh. He's telling me the story. I'm not telling you. You asked about the story. Well, and now you're telling me. And I'm uh, recanting. Uh-huh. Go on. So she went to sleep instead of taking a shower, and now she's outside, and you locked her out and let her get her stuff. No, 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 no. I never... Ne she gathered her stuff on her own. I uh -huh. never said she couldn't. Uh -huh. All right? And now she told you that that's untrue, because he was uh, helping her. And all right? All right. I let her Go on. slowly gather yeah. her shit. Okay. All right? Uh-huh. On top of which, she could have grabbed the food. I don't know why she didn't. It's hers, all right? But the fact that I know what you know what keep you know what I'm sick of. You know what? Doesn't matter what you're sick of. I'm sick of motherfuckers like you. Hey, fuck you! I'll slam your fucking head. So I had the perfect spot, that bench there, because you can put art on both of the ends there. It's perfect spot. It's in a great location, and. That dude who's been following me around, he's now ruined my perfect spot. I can't sit there and give art away when well, that's going on right next to it. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, pal. Please tell me you have some of my old spice. I don't want any roaches in my old spice at all. <coughs> I don't 
You took the roaches. Oh, man. Yeah. My new spice ain't shit. Spent $40 on them. Mm -hmm. Back soon? Sure. Excellence and piss what? Greatness. Okay. My hands aren't even red. I don't have to stick them in the bag if I can brush them up. There you go. Makes me like I'm hot. Yeah. Oh god, you okay? No, I just want to make sure you're okay. Well, did they? I'm not even here. I haven't been here. His windows are open in his car and it's parked out front. He can't up and no, gone long. he leaves like that all the time. So you get it picked up for work. I actually has a new red, red one that he parked right up front. Yeah, it's still there. That one's there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Unless he got picked up by his worker, he gets that all the time too. Yeah. Oh, it's John. And that John he's gone for the week. Me yeah. too. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, I want to get to the so What's the name? Richard? Frank. Frank. Suck. <laughs> Oh, 
people on the marches. Everybody's just waiting on the damn trains or buses. What's that? There's nobody out here earlier. Yeah. Someone tried to shut up all these people around now. All of a sudden. Yeah, that happens. I don't know if they told me just go to be an evidence. This woman here hates pigeons so much that she's willing to risk somebody falling and hurting themselves. What's up with that? What's up? Oh, I you got a little of come out. Yeah, I'm okay. Kicked it by the trash can. Me and my dad still got BB guns. BB guns? Oh my god. We got the old Crossman, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Crossman, uh, six, uh, no, seven, six. Yeah. Yeah, when you pump them up, boom. I got a nice one. And my dad, he got that old classic, but I got the old wood. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, I'm kind of torn. I'm trying to get a little bit more torn. No, no, no. Just that. Uh, that was my guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, my Uncle Brian, the magician. He's the only person I've ever met who talks about hypnosis as much as these guys do. That knows what? Talks about hypnosis as intimately as these guys do. They are very skilled in hypnosis. And they talk about it like that, like he does, because he's skilled in hypnosis. Hmm. Should be careful. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but what they. You being that sick and then walking into the room and all of a sudden you were better and they're like, you better like they had done that. If they had given you a post-hypnotic suggestion to be sick and then to, at a certain signal, unbe sick, that is exactly why you, be, you were like, boom, I'm better. I spoke twice. True. That's when they walked in the room. So we'll never know which what I it was. I felt better before they walked in the room. Remember I said that they yeah. they came in? Yeah, okay. We don't know yet for sure. I know. But, but I like the, I'm taking your suggestion. Please, I just need to be honest with you because I love you and I'm scared with you being here because they laughed way too much about you being sick. No one laughs that much about someone being that sick. So be careful. And I love you. Love you too. Okay. Like, I'm gonna find out soon. Well, call me. Yeah, let me know because if, if you're not coming right. to surgery, I'm gonna head back to start to pan handling. Well, I really do that because I don't want to take. I don't have a bus. Oh yeah, yeah. Mine went no, right now, so. Yeah. Just let me Just come me. back here. I'll meet you at. at okay. Alright. Bring the train. You're welcome. So now that I'm trying to do art over here, now this guy's screaming and yelling. Yeah. Fuck you. I thought it was gonna rain if I had my computer done. Thanks to you. He was screaming earlier.